This is Asbog the Gaming Orc to give you a real PC Master Race performance tip on how to potentially improve your video game performance by utilizing all the cores within your CPU. Again, this could be a part of the process of troubleshooting. If you feel a process is being bottlenecked somewhere, this might be a good quote-unquote workaround to solve inefficient code within a game. So games have limited programming and do not support multi-core usage Certain CPUs might have dual or quad cores that aren't being fully utilized. In this video, I use a 6-core i7-3960X, 3.3 GHz, and 3.9 Turbo, which is overclocked. I could find out this information about my computer and other hardware by a program called CPU-Z, which is in the description. I bought this CPU a few years ago, and it is still top-of-the-line CPU but it uses many cores, which is great for some applications and not so great for those who don't use cores from the program limitations, which could be code inherent. Fun fact, the Xbox One and the like use 1.8 gigahertz eight core CPUs. The idea behind core parking came from an energy saving. In essence, this is a typical case where the hardware far outpaces the software. From my researching this, Parking of cores is not essential to computer performance, but if you are concerned about using excess power, you might not want to use this feature. Even though it might be immaterial to your electric bill in the long run and improve your computer performance. In this video, I'm going to mess around in the registry, so you need to be careful. Set a restore point if you need to. Whenever messing around the registry, it can cause unintended consequences, so caution is advised since we are essentially making a hardware change to the existing setup. Step 1. I loaded up the Windows Task Manager under Performance and I'm going to click the Resource Monitor. In the Resource Monitor window on the right hand side I can see the CPU threads being parked. As they are being parked they are not being utilized by the system or programs. In the Registry Editor I am searching for a specific key. I hit Control F and enter in the key that I have linked in the description below and you can see it in this video. Step 3, I change the max value and the min value to 0 which means unlimited for each registry key I find. I get step 4, I continue to search for the registry key and make the change to each key I find. I double check my work. Step 5, I restart the computer for the effects to take place. And step 6, I double check and now I notice under the resource monitor that no cores are parked. I hope that this video helped. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.